Welcome back to another episode of Drunk Freddy. I'm not sure if you were able to pick up on the last few videos, but I have a serious attraction towards men. Seriously attracted towards the idea of literally me characters. If you don't know what that is, they're basically hot introverts. People who are outcasted by society in their own little way and become lone wolves because of it. I don't know about any of you, but I think that's really cool. Hell, I would even say it's literally me. For the sake of time, I'll only be going through a few of the most popular ones to help people understand what I'm talking about. But who knows? Maybe I'll make a sequel if people like this one enough. Let's get started. Alright, starting off we have Patrick Bateman. He's the most popular for a good reason. He's hot. He's a shy cutie with an interest in blonde women. And although I know I'm not blonde or a woman, I still think I have a chance. Any negatives? Well, he's a little aggressive, but like I said, I'm not a blonde girl, so I'd say I'd be fine. He's a smash, no doubt about it. Alright, next we have the driver from Drive 2011. I personally think he's by far the hottest one of them all. Mainly because Ryan Gosling is a chick magnet, but for men. So if you asked me if I would smash Ryan Gosling, I'd tell you yes. But unfortunately, this isn't Ryan Gosling. This is the driver from Drive 2011. And this man cannot hold a conversation to save his life. He's the kind of guy who would look you dead in the eyes and say nothing as you bone. And sadly, I can't deal with that in bed. So no, driver from Drive 2011 is a pass. Walter White. What the hell do you think? Little by little, this channel is slowly turning into a Breaking Bad fan page. And when you put me up with this absolute dilf, asking me if I would have sex with him, yeah, I think my answer is pretty clear. Hard pass. This guy's manipulative as fuck, bro. He doesn't care about anybody other than himself. He makes that very clear. And at first he's all like, I do this for the family. But then he's all like, I did this for me. Like, which is it? Make up your fucking mind, bozo. Yeah, he's cute, but I'd rather take my chances with Patrick Bateman. Pass. Oh Next up is Joker. This one's tricky. You see, Joaquin Phoenix is hot, but Arthur Fleck isn't. He treats women good, but he doesn't treat men that way. Thinking about it now, he's kind of a soy boy. He's kind of like... me. He's literally me. We probably deserve each other. Me and Joker? Yeah. Bottom line, I would have to say Smash. That one's kind of depressing to think about. So now I'm at a point where I need to confess something. I haven't really watched a lot of Literally Me movies. I've been meaning to, don't get me wrong. But whenever I watch a movie by myself, I get really sad and lonely. Which I guess is the point, but... Come on. Not when no one's watching. So to help find a final guy, I went through this article called The Top 10 Characters Who Are Literally Me by Brian the Alpha Male, made April 14th, and takes roughly four minutes to read. And at his number one spot was a Sigma male that I not only am familiar with, but I feel comfortable about having sexual intercourse with. Crazy Frog is beautiful in many ways. Many, many ways. He's an absolute Sigma male based alone on his grind to get his rap career off the ground. And as the article says, I also like having my penis out and making inhuman noises whenever I'm out on the town. But of course, we're not talking about why he's literally me. We're talking about why he's hot. First off, the drip. You gotta respect it. No one's got fit like him and he just rocks it. On top of that, there's something that really speaks to me about his eyes. The way that one's bigger than the other, and how it doesn't look completely terrifying as a non-2D animated character. So yeah, smash. I, Drunk Freddy, would smash Crazy Frog. And yeah, I think that's about it for this week. That was pretty fun. Here's the polls. Not as ratioed as I first thought it would be, but oh well. It is what it is. I don't really have anything else to say. Like I said, maybe I'll make a part two. Maybe I won't. Probably not, but we'll see. Until then, I love you, and remember to keep being cute, gamers.